Hi, everybody. It's Deborah Carter here with Preparation Tech. Today, I have a wonderful interview with someone from Brazil, a very inspiring individual called Fabricio Goulart, who is heading up an organization called Phytosa Food Production. And this organization really looks at sustainability in food production and achieving a circular economy. We're super excited to have him. He was highly recommended by an organization called Thought for Food, which is really an ecosystem of young um, entrepreneurs that are trying to disrupt the food production industry. So welcome, Fabricio. We're so happy to have you here um, from you're in sunny Brazil. Uh, let's start off by you introducing yourself, telling us what you do and how it intersects with technology. Okay, thank you, Deborah. Thank you, everybody. So, uh, for me, it's a pleasure to uh, speak to, uh, out of Brazil to around people around the world. Uh, how our solution can support and help not only the farmers and banana growers, but uh, people and customers as well. So, when I start this idea, um, I use the discarded bananas to innovate how to eat bananas. Uh, because we have a lot of uh, discarded banana or, and food waste in our uh, country and our state in our city and and sometimes people don't understand how this kind of food this kind of uh, bananas can help them to eat better that's why I use the idea to to make a fusion using the discarded bananas to make sauce to make uh, chocolates to make juice to make beers and and some snacks and i think a lot and i start a conversation with the banana growers to use this kind of technology using the the process uh, getting some bananas in the the farmers with the farmers processing them using a, a technology, some uh, equipment, some machines to process them and don't uh, leave the vitamins and the nutrients, the nutrition facts, and use everything together to uh, present to people, to offer to people a nice opportunity, a nice, a nice food to eat, but in a different way. For example, we make a banana ketchup but usually when do you, you listen about bananas, uh, sorry, a ketchup, you, you know, oh, it's another in, industrialization sauce, ultra process, uh, processing sauce. No, no, the, 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 the better way is use the discarded bananas, process them and try and don't use any uh, chemicals or preservatives to make them. So we can eat uh, using this kind of food waste to make something better to people uh, using their salads, potatoes, uh, french fries, and rice, bread. So you can use wherever you want uh, and uh, help the growers when they start in the, the first step of the plantation to make more money in their property. So uh, in their uh, farms and for them, for their families too. So that's why we use all the cycles and think about food waste can become a good food. So we, you just need to innovate uh, on them. Tell us about the technology that you use, because I can assume I did some research and you're using something called cool hydration technology. You're also using equipment that is automated. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, so it's a very interesting question. Uh, so when we, we see a product like a carrot or bananas, you just see the, a beautiful food, a beautiful fruit or beautiful vegetable. So you never ask yourself uh, what's happening with the others, the, the, bad, the bad or the ugly banana or the ugly orange, the orange apple. So what's happening with, with them? Uh, that's why we think in this possibility to use the cold... Uh, uh, the hydration to get this kind of a product, the, the ugly ones, but still good to eat, to, to make it like a chips, to make uh, pounders, to make uh, a different uh, ways to use the ugly uh, vegetables or ugly uh, uh, fruit. Uh, food. 
uh, that's why I get uh, the ugly bananas, the short ones, the the black ones. Uh, they're very ripe to slice them and make some chips, uh, chips, and uh, and uh, and do the cold hy uh, hydrate dehydration to keep the the nutrients, the potassium, magnesium, all the nutrients that you can uh, found and in the fresh bananas, uh, when they use this kind of a technology, you can uh, uh, still eating or uh, the banana keep the this kind of nutrition that you need that you find in the fresh ones. Okay, so uh, you put the and, you, you put the fruit or the veggies in this machine, and what does it yeah. do? Makes it cold. It just yeah. freezes it. Yeah. The, yes. Okay. So and you don't have uh, you don't have in this kind of uh, uh, technology the the high temperature that burn all the nutrition. So you have a cool, uh, a cold uh, uh, temperature. So you, you put the, in the minus 25, minus uh, 30, and in the, you keep the some a crunchy bite when the bite is just very crunchy. Uh, and all the sugars, uh, not the, the sugar, it's the, you call the fructosis. Yes. Uh, yeah, the sugar, the natural sugar uh, from the fruit. Uh, you make the you, so you potent potentialize. You you make the the sugar uh, the Stronger. natural sugar more uh, and in evidence. Yeah. Yeah. So you can make a a, a natural sugar for, from them. You you now you're doing some research to to use this kind of technology to make a natural sugar use the the bananas to do that so you still work in bananas because you, you uh, our purpose is uh use the banana in the entire research try to explore more and more the uh, way to use that so interesting and now you're using also a lot of automated technology to actually to cut to fry to squeeze to all that you've got all these machines that are i guess driven by technology yes yeah so you have another technology used to make the, the juices you don't use water you just use a, a pressure to extract extract the 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 juice from the bananas and make a hundred percent banana juice don't use water sugars preservatives only banana that's why they they are pink so this is the banana that we use a very ripe bananas so just to you understand the supermarkets and groceries they don't want this kind of bananas no nobody wants to buy yeah and i i used to make the barbecue sauce and uh, other smoked sauce banana ketchup this is the banana that we use and we use the skins as well to make uh, another product to make a juice, so we use, look, look the color. That's banana juice. Wow, it's beautiful. That's banana juice. We use this kind of bananas, more yellow, yeah, not, not so, not ripe. And, but we use the, the poop to, to offer to some banana growers to use in other uh, plantation to, to feed the soil. And this kind of bananas, you can make the chips that are still ripe too, but they slice them and they cold high dehydration. And you make the our chocolates and some snacks, the founder as well. But you see the juice, you can make some drinks because uh, they have they, they have a natural sugar. Uh, you don't need to to put sugar or uh, artificial ones. So, for example, if you want to make like a banana gin, is to just put some ice gin and this kind of juice. You you have a banana gin. Yeah. I want to know your story. Tell us about your childhood. How did you become Fabricio Goulart, who was with Phytosa Food and is crazy about bananas? What were you like as a child? What were your hobbies? How did you grow up? Who were your role models? Nice. So, it's a nice question because. When you ask me something like that, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I go to the, my childhood 
and I started thinking uh, when I start this kind of initiative. Yeah. yeah. So when I was a child, uh, I was a, a fat boy, like uh, uh, I'm uh, overhated. Yeah. Uh, so that that's why I'm. I was a not a sweet tooth, but I'm a guy who loves to eat, and I I I ate everything that I look uh, look in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bread. Yeah, I want bread. Fruit. Oh, yeah, I want fruit. So, uh, uh, Coke, uh, uh, Guarana. You have a lot of Guarana in Brazil. It's a, it's a pop. So, uh, I love to eat everything that I look in front of me. And, uh, and my grandma was an, a nice uh, cook. That, and I always follow her. And she uh, uh, showed me how you have to, to cook using love. All the times, because and I, I think it's the same in, in in many black families. The grandma is a oh, yeah, good cook. Yeah, <laughs> show how to to put some love in the food, so you can uh, cook for ev all your the family. So come uh, all the family, I can cook for ev uh, for all. Yeah, and and I when I was a child, I saw a lot of situation like that. That's why I'm I'm a a food lover. So I, I follow the IT market and I start to study. And at the same time, um, I was a, a good leader in my school. Uh, I become a, 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 a president of the, uh, how can I say that? Uh, in the, it's a kind of uh, uh, student's association when, when you, you stand up for the students' rights in, yeah. in, in, in the inside the school. Yes. And, I, and I became a president in that time. And now I think uh, I changed everything in my life because I, I became a leader. Yeah, I became a leader. And I started to, to discuss about how you can improve uh, some situations in our school. And I, I started to, to ask myself, so I, I'm a leader. I can, uh, people follow me. How can I help them? Because I'm always in my mind, so I, help, I, I have to help people I have to help, help people and I started my school and so later when I was 18 years old uh, I start my uh, my stud study in the university uh, trying uh, to pay my 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 uni the university stu the, 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 the class yeah mm -hmm. in the university uh, but I'm still trying to make more money. That's why I, I changed everything to the IT uh, career. And in 2000, 2005, I start uh, as a sales representative at Dell. And there is a nice company, oh, it's an American company. Oh, I'm, a, I'm work at Dell. It all was my dream as a IT uh, professional, yeah? And I start to try, try to improve my English, and I uh, I had to to study uh, English classes. I have to have English classes, and so everything changed in my life. So my my mind opened more because I I, I could look outside our uh, my country. Mm -hmm. But I worked there for eight years, and I I grew up in the, inside the company was very hard because sometimes they, they, they said to me, so you can't uh, become a technical. Because why, uh, I'm a sales, why I, I can't become a, a technical? Because you are a sales. Oh. And, uh, and I, oh, no, no, this is not right. I can, I, I can become wherever I want, I just need to start. Uh, and now I change uh, how they they think because I study and I become a, a technical I become a, a influencer inside the company and one day I, I receive a, a video in my email in my internal email and the video says if money don't exist what do you uh, what did you uh, doing something like that and all oh, and I, I asked myself but if, if money don't exist or, or didn't exist, so I probably I, I was cooking. Yeah, uh, and I start to uh, create a planning 
uh, how can I become a nice chef? Not only cook, but a chef, a leader who can uh, make a experience, not only you sit and you eat, something more than that. And I started, I started uh, uh, cook, uh, taking some cooking classes in Brazil in a, in a nice school. And, and I made and I made my first uh, exchanging, and I moved to Vancouver in Canada. Oh. And, and I study English for thirty days, and was was something amazing because I never see uh, so different people in one place. Like Vancouver is is nice because you can see Asians, Indians and uh, latins uh, arabian so many kind of uh there's uh i don't know it's not a miscellaneous but uh it's another it's another word multicultural multicultural yeah yeah and everybody respect respect others they don't look your color or skin color or your gender they just want to know who are you yeah and I start to think, so they, they were right. And uh, sorry, but I'm wrong. I'm trying to take out this kind of uh, 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 thinking and the way I, I'm thinking. I'm here to learn. So there I start my uh, career because I, 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 learned, I learned how to speak in English better than before and how to be a nice people. I, uh, it's a kind of a gentleman. Yeah, <laughs> more <laughs> educated, respecting the the others, the the space. And don't become a, a invasive guy. So if you don't want to speak to me, so you don't need to speak to me because I want. So I, I respect you. Maybe all, uh, other times, something like that. Simple things. Uh, and I start to cook there. So I moved uh, to Canada in 2013 to leave. So I. I, I quit my job uh, at Dell and I start to cook uh, in an uh, Indian restaurant. <laughs> totally different. Wow. Yeah, was a big challenge to me because they are an uh, uh, Indian family with their tradition. They gave to me a lot of uh, uh, chais and every single day I, I got some chai uh, every 5 a.m., 5 p.m. Oh, okay, take take this chai because you become better. Okay, uh, I agree. <laughs> and I try and I start to understand other cultures too, other ways to live. Yeah. And so now, I I I, I saw uh, in that time I saw how food was important, how food be, came from families, and how you have to uh, deliver the, that. And I start this kind, this kind of these steps. How can I deliver? It? How can I do the same thing, family to family? And I start to talk with my mother and understand what our family tradition. And how can I put this in my ID when I cook? And Canada is something. It's amazing country because they don't have a lot of uh, uh, biodiversity of food. We have uh, lentils or uh, some blackberries, cherries, and, but they don't have a, it's a, this kind of Brazilian biodiversity. But they, they do uh, a lot of things with one thing. That's why, that's, that's why uh, I learned in Canada. So if I can do many things, one, one, one product, one food, I can do this in Brazil. So when I came back to Brazil, uh, I try to start this kind of philosophy using the banana, which I call uh, banana uh, in Brazil the the princess because the queen in Brazil is cassava. Yeah, yes. the the queen in Brazil is cassava. So banana uh, can uh, became can became a, a, a can become um, the the princess because everybody eats banana. The Poor people to rich people. It's a very de democratic fruit, and I start some studies in, on uh, on bananas. So how can I use the entire fruit 
uh, understanding the future. So I have to worry about 2050 uh, because we have a, a lot of people living in our world. So how can I do something different? And I start uh, my experience. That's why I use the experience uh, in food plus um, how to use the uh, the entire fruit and respect the biodiversity and innovate using food waste. Uh, in my mind, just to, to close our think, my thinking, uh, I'm trying to show to people how can I use the food waste and help to decrease these numbers to innovate in food and feed the people better than they are actually. You won the Circular Economy of Food Prize during the 2019-2020 Thought for Food uh, Challenge. And so you were mentored by the Food Lab Accelerator at Google. Tell us a bit about that experience. How did uh, a big tech company like Google help a smaller organization like you? So I'm always um, saw Google as a, a IT uh, uh, promoter or IT influencer. And I always ask myself, so who are the, the Google for food? And, and these days beca uh, came because they support um, new technologies in food. And when I, I, I won this prize, I, um, I was very, very uh, happy because I could understand how technology can support and help new ways to make food in the different, uh, different uh, 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 models, you know, not only the, the standard models, but you can use the technology to uh, make a dehydration, to make, take, use the technology, the IT technology to, to offer and reach more people around the world. So everything is connected, but uh, now I can use the, the Google and they, they engage me to make something different using their um, uh, uh, kind of models to, to in technology. Uh, circular economy for us uh, in Feitosa Food Tech is something you engage all the cycles in the, this um, uh, steps, like the banana growers, the uh, industry or the small industries, the customers in the nature. So you can see and, and and share with you Google, you can, we care about all the cycles and how you Google yeah, and TFF can support us to starting and improving our, uh, um, our uh, project. That, that, that's, I can, uh, that's, that's what I see when I, 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 I won this prize and I use the TFF and Google to, to support us. Wonderful. I wanna ask you a personal question. And that is, have there been challenges for you to overcome as a black man in the food industry? Do you think that you have encountered challenges that are different because of your race or has it, you feel like you've been treated like everyone else? And I ask this question because I think if we're going to prepare black young people for careers in technology, careers in which they use tech to transform industries like food production, we need to be honest about the adversity and how to overcome it. Yeah, uh, it's a good question, Deborah. And yes, I'm, I'm living in a country uh, that we, 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 we are slaves. 300 years, the, the most time uh, during, uh, during the slave uh, uh, time was in Brazil. Uh, so it's very hard to to run in this uh, in this competition com competition yeah and for me it's it uh, there is a, a lot of challenge when I, I speak about race skin color in Brazil because you it's very hard to see uh, a big entrepreneurs uh, uh, as a, as black it's something very hard to see usually they they are uh, assistant or uh, sales or 
the the people of the uh, cleaners uh, but when we in terms of uh, uh, some representative who you want to to see as your hero is something very hard because sometimes they they don't want to see uh, when I, I see they I am, I'm talking about the system uh, don't want to see um, some uh, blacks uh, win uh, some um, uh, competitions, not the competitions, but some uh, uh, honors, just to be honored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 they don't want to, to see the uh, black winning or uh, in, in our life. So, and I live in, in a state uh, who uh, we have a, like, a lot of uh, immig uh, Italian immigration, uh, German uh, immigration, um, and when you you see this, this this mix, it's hard because you have a lot of discussion, and it's some people unfortunately they live in the old times and and see black as a problem. It's not a problem because in Brazil we we are the the majority. It's a, 60, 51 percent of people in Brazil are black or considered as a black, and and you have a, a big situation, a, a big problem because this majority, this big part, are poor, or they live in the uh, three level or uh, four level. They they don't have a condition to to study or. Uh, or to become a, a, a good professional. They stay in the same time. But now I'm, I'm seeing uh, things changing. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm black and I, I had a lot of challenges in, in my life, but I'm, I'm winning day by day. I'm, I'm good, I'm, I'm, uh, I stand on when some people say, you can't do it. I say, I can. So, because that's my life. I, I, I'm on the guide of my life. You know, that, that's why I need to, to, to say to many other people. So if you want to study guy, you have to, to, to go, uh, uh, go ahead and study wherever you want. You just need to, to put some focus, but nobody have a right to say you can't do it. So we, we can. That, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm feeding my mind and my body with this kind of, uh, uh, codes, this kind of uh, energies. I can do wherever I want. My last question, and I want you yeah. to reflect on this. What is the legacy? What do you want to be remembered by in the Black community and in society in general? What do you want to give to humanity? So how can I, can I I'm Fabricio, yeah, uh, do it. I Fabricio do it. So and uh, showing showing people how to improve their local things. So I'm I'm working with bananas right now, but uh, in the future I can use this kind of uh, learning and uh, encourage uh, other guy to make the same thing with orange. So in this in this guy will do and encourage their community to make the same thing with the potatoes. But uh, in the end of the day, we are helping the world to improve what we're doing in that time to feed people better and discard less and uh, make with discard uh, something amazing to all, everybody all eat. Uh, in, so black, Chinese or ye yellow, yeah, speaking the color of the skin color, black, yellows, white. So wherever, working for all, I'm here to working for all, not only for the blacks, but I'm giving this example for black community, we can do more than we're doing right now. So we can, you, you have to find our space and you never, never give up because we are an example of resilience, I'm thinking, yeah. So to become an entrepreneur, you have to put in, in the, the first uh, step in, in your list, we have to be resilient. Yeah, never give up. So th that's my my legacy. Yeah, be resilient like a banana. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. 
I love that. Perfect <laughs> ending for this interview. Fabricio, mm -hmm. thank you so much for sharing your time and your thoughts and your energy. I am just so curious about your products. And if I ever get to Brazil, I will definitely come and visit you. And good luck. Good luck.